welcome once again to Midweek News. This is episode 40 for August 30th, 2023. Let's get started. Apple to buy TSMC's entire supply of 3 nanometer chips for 2023. This will effectively delay other chip orders on the 3 nanometer process until 2024. Linux kernel 6.5 has been released. The biggest change really impacts servers and cloud Linux. AMD Ryzen P-State support. RISC-V architecture support now includes ACPI. USB 4 version 2 support is included, which will take the USB-C standard to 120 gigabit per second. And you can look in the article for additional details. Firefox 118 is in beta and may bring built-in translation features for websites. Yes, this feature has been delayed before. It was scheduled originally to be included in version 117, but we can hold out for one more version and hope for the best. For Linux users, Firefox might ship with support for fractional scaling in Wayland. Version 118 is expected on the 26th of September. For the nostalgia nerds out there, Arca OS 5.1 has been released. Arca OS is the continuation of OS 2. It now supports UEFI systems. Arca OS 5.1 Personal Edition will set you back $139 or 249 for the Commercial Edition. FreeBSD can now boot in 25 milliseconds. This is specifically on the AWS Firecracker micro VM. And worth noting, Firecracker is based on the Linux kernel's built-in KVM hypervisor. GNOME 45's file manager gets a modern full-height sidebar layout. An improved file opening experience while sandboxed is also in this release. GNOME 45 is currently in public beta testing. iPhone 15 and AirPods are officially going to USB-C. While I'm not a user of iPhone or AirPods, I welcome this change. I wonder if this change will be enough to sway any Android users over to the Apple ecosystem. All right. People probably want a little bit of an update on the garage situation. After the initial meeting with the insurance adjuster, it sounds like the garage is going to be a complete loss and will need to be rebuilt. Hopefully we'll be able to get the rebuilding process underway and have walls and a roof up before snow hits. And of course, you are all owed an update on the Monarca live stream. Obviously, with the storm from last Thursday night, this had to be postponed. I made the call Friday night uh, when I had got power back, but my internet was still down. I'm glad I did because the internet did not come back up until an hour before the stream was scheduled to start, and I would have been in full-on panic mode by then. My plan is to start talks next week to get the stream rescheduled and get guests lined up. And that, my friends, will do it for episode 40 of Midweek News. This has been a production of the Practical IT Channel. Once again, I am Jeremy, your host. I thank you for watching and for your continued support. As of this morning, we are at 4,900 subscribers. So everybody pat yourself on the back. Please do what you do down below the video, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.